Okay, this is what we're up to. So this is a, an old 3400 Rockwell Beaver uh, wood lathe. They're very common. They're really durable. They work really well. And uh, it needs a belt change. I noticed that there's not too much information out there about it. Uh, you you got to knock it apart. If you don't have one of the, uh, the link belts, then you've got to put a continuous belt on this pulley inside. Inside this, uh, this head here, there's a pulley. And this pulley is where the belt runs around. Now there's a bearing here and a bearing here. There's these retaining collars on here. And if you look real close, there's a set screw inside here. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing changed. Okay, let's, uh, let's get the steady rest out of the way because it's kind of in the way. This has a removable piece on the end here. Now you could either have a, a plate or you can have this uh, spindle attachment. We're going to leave that on there for now because that's kind of handy. Bring it around and get the set screw out of here. Just a simple, simple set screw. So this has uh, one, possibly two set screws. There's two holes in each one. Uh, this one only has one in each one. You don't need a ton of force to hold it on. So you're going to undo these guys, get them out of the way. This little grinding disc on the end has uh, got lots of purposes, but whether or not whether or not you use them for the intended purposes is up to you. So. The key to remember this this can be kind of hard to uh to figure out this is actually a left-handed thread so it feels like you're tightening it i use channel locks because i i don't want to get too many slivers all right that's it so left-handed thread and again there's another one on here now that you can see the thread it becomes more obvious if you need to, by leaving this little attachment on here, you have something to put a wrench on. And you have to uh, break that loose. Just be careful you don't cut yourself on any of these sharp edges. Again, that's left-handed thread. Okay, this is where it gets a little nerve-wracking not everybody wants to hit these things this bearing just presses into the housing here and this bearing fits in the housing here it's a slip ship a slip fit on this shaft so if you can hit it with a soft hammer you won't hurt the threads the last thing you want to do is gumble up the threads over here and then you got to fix them and i don't want to do that today so hang on to it so it doesn't rattle quite so bad you don't want the drop either and hit it as flat as you can there you go now, when you're doing this, the pulley is going to stay inside this housing. And that's your shaft. It's got a little keyway on it. And the pulley just comes out in your hands. The belt is still on. Here's the other bearing. So we're just going to put that bearing in there. So if, now's a good time to do bearings if you're, if you're doing it. This one's got a new bearing on this side and the other bearing is good shape. These just press onto the shaft. So if you've got to do them, you just put it in a vise, tap it out. And, uh, or use a press if you're so inclined. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So we just got this belt from the hardware store. It's just a lawnmower belt, nothing fancy. It fits the uh, pulley. What you want is for the, the belt to sit so that it's riding right in here nice and flat. You don't want it hanging way up high and you don't want it sunk down in low. So then we're going to start assembling this back together. So this keyway has to line up on the pulley. So the best thing you can do is maybe put the keyway facing one way so you know where it is. And then that way, when you look inside here, you can see it. And you can see the keyway line up. And then that way there, you don't have to fight with it. The other side it just slips into the other bearing 
and in it goes. So now this bearing here has to be tapped back on because it's a snug fit on the shaft. So how we're going to do that is, again, we're just going to smack it with a hammer. I'm going to take this guy off this time. This is a right hand thread. Regular normal thread, but that way it exposes the end of the shaft. So I'm just going to take a, a bigger hammer to put against the bearing over here. And, and then just that way I can. Sorry about the noise. There you go. Now I'm, I'm satisfied there's no end to end play on it. So the next thing, this pulley can walk back and forth. We have to put the set screw back in. So we want to see where it fits all the way to one side. You don't want it interfering with the housing. Same thing on the other side. So we're just going to pick a nice straight spot. One of the easy ways I've found to do this. I just grab whatever square I got. Lay it across the pulley. So that it draws a nice straight line. And that tells me where the edge of that pulley should be. So I can look look down on it and uh, line it back up so it looks like it's in a happy spot and right there's where I want it without uh, wiggling and jiggling it too much I'm going to put the set screw back in and that's going to trap that pulley on the shaft right where I left it that way the belt will run nice and straight you less have to throw it off and have things go sideways if the if the belt is straight. All right, that's snug. That's all you need. Okay, we're gonna put these collars back on. Again, they're left-handed threads, so it feels odd to do it. So I'm going to channel lock this side just so I can hang on to it. And then bring this in so it's snug. Doesn't have to be crazy tight. Okay. So we got one. Put the set screw back in. This is just aluminum, so you just give it a little gentle snug. Put these back on for convenience sake. Be nice to the threads out here you don't want to gumble them up because this is where it's got a thread on and off so just be gentle with these set screws there you go that's it all right so i'm just going to lift the motor back up and plug it in to test it out perfect that's it. Belt change is that easy. 
this is just a standard lawnmower belt and whatever length you need based on how you put yours together. So that's it. That's a Beaver 3400 uh, Rockwell wood lathe belt change. Thanks for watching.